Welcome into the Cowboys Report. Day one and most importantly, day two is now in the books of the NFL Draft. So are you happy with what the Cowboys have done? We're going to break down my day two draft grades. Spoiler alert, I love it. And if you agree with me, I want you guys to like this video. Let's see how many Cowboys fans out there are pumped about the results so far from the 2020 NFL Draft. We're going to kick things off with Trevon Diggs, the Cowboys' second round pick, number 51 overall. I had him as my number five corner this year, my number 27 overall prospect. Let me put this in perspective for you as to how lucky the Cowboys were to get him. A, they got some numbers teams for the Dallas Cowboys, and they were doing numbers. What are the odds that Diggs ends up being there at pick 51? They had it at 1%. That's the numbers they had. Now, if you watched our day two draft target video, you knew that I had Diggs going to the Cowboys at pick 51. That's what ended up happening. I love it for Dallas. Yes, I had Christian Fulton as a higher rated cornerback, but I'm not going to complain about getting a top 30 guy on my board at number 51 overall that fits what Dallas wants to do. He's got size. He's got length. I have some athletic concerns, yes, but the ball skills are certainly there. At 51, it's a no-brainer. I'm giving this pick an A. I'm a huge fan of this move by the Dallas Cowboys. Had CeeDee Lamb not been there, and had they traded down in round one, Diggs was a possible trade-down target. There is a scenario in an alternate universe out there where Diggs was the Cowboys' first-round pick. In this one, they got him in round two. The interceptions are great former wide receiver. I don't know where he slots in right away when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys and where they sit right now in their cornerback depth chart in their room right now. Things are going to be very interesting for the Dallas Cowboys. Entering the draft, they had Cheetah Bay Awuzie, Jordan Lewis. They had Anthony Brown as well. Diggs will compete for early playing time for the Dallas Cowboys. That's what is going to happen here for this organization. They took the best player on the board in round one, and they did it again in round two. I'm happy getting Trevon Diggs. Yeah, I had Diggs higher, or I had Fulton higher. I can't complain, man. Getting a top 30 player in round two, that is a steal for the Dallas Cowboys after a bunch of lesser corners went before him. Now, as a reminder, folks, told you about this late last night, or I guess, you know, I guess yesterday, technically, because we're really far behind on the days. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys1 has the new Cowboys rookie jerseys. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys1. I'll put that link in the comments. I'll put that link in the description as well. We've got you guys covered for that sweet new CD Lamb jersey. His number not yet determined. I'm excited to see which route he ends up going. All right, on now to round three for the Dallas Cowboys. It is very rare that the Cowboys take the best player on the board, the guy that I think is the top player left across the NFL. Diggs was my third best player left, I think, at that point. Might have been second in terms of how it fit for the Cowboys. CeeDee Lamb was my number one, and so was Neville Gallimore, who, for the record, fatty only. 300 pounds, actually cut weight, by the way, down from 330, trimmed up, got to 304 instead. He is a great player athlete a 4 7 9 40 yard dash at 304 pounds guys that's crazy that's freaky good athleticism right there this is clearly an indictment at some level as to what this organization thinks about tristan hill i got i got a nice round three or day three pick in exchange for him who wants it raiders you guys interested i'm just saying so give me your one word reaction to Neville Gallimore being the Cowboys pick in round three. I'm curious what you guys have to say. I'm going value. I cannot remember the last time the Cowboys made one pick that I thought was the best guy on the board. They did it twice with Neville Gallimore and CeeDee Lamb. This was about value. Dallas is just taking the best player on their board. They're going BPA, and it happens to fill a need. That's what we got here. I'm giving this one an A as well. Top 40 player for me. I got him outside the top 80. I love it. Canadian import was at 330 pounds at one point, now down to 305. At 305, folks, Neville Gallimore, 
he counts as a fatty only. Get your t-shirt at chatsports.com slash fatties only. Got Gerald McCoy, got Dontari Poe, Antoine Woods, Neville Gallimore. Hey, that, def that defensive line getting a whole lot better. Fun fact on Neville Gallimore, by the way, folks, who, again, is a fatty. First Ottawa-born player to take the field. And that's what's going to be the case here for him. Now, as it relates to where he will sit on the depth chart, I think he'll slot in over Tristan Hill pretty much right away. I had a higher grade on Neville Gallimore than I had on Tristan Hill, and the Cowboys got him later on in the NFL draft. If you want a player comp for him, how about Timmy Jernigan? That's who I think Gallimore can end up being in the NFL. He's still developing. The upside is there. He didn't make the impact statistically that you want out of, out of his athletic traits, but he wasn't really playing in the right scheme to maximize those traits at Oklahoma. He is already 23 years old, has always been a rotation guy for the Sooners, but I love the upside here. This is a worthwhile gamble for Dallas in round three, and in fact... Dallas actually, at least briefly, discussed him when they were on the clock in round two before going, hey, let's take the corner instead. Let's move on now to day three. We still got some rounds left here for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm a huge fan of what they've done so far. I see this completely unbiased for the record. The Cowboys have had one of the best drafts so far. This has been awesome, and I can't wait to see who they get on day three. C.D. Lamb, Trevon Diggs, Neville Gallimore. This is only for me personally. I've got three top 40 players through round three. Round one, round two, and round three. That's incredible. So the Cowboys will pick next at number 123 overall, fairly early in round four. And they got two fifth round picks, 164 and 179. No sixth round picks at this point. And then a seventh rounder, number 231. So let me know, what player do you want the Cowboys to draft on day three? And in a second here, we'll take a look at some potential options of who I have as the best players left. I would love any player right here. I am a Bryce Hall truther. I'll double dip at corner. I can give him a fake injury redshirt year and bring him on along next season. Curtis Weaver, Boise State guy. Just throwing it out there. Akeem Davis-Gaither, I believe, has a foot injury that's kind of bringing up some issues for him in terms of his draft stock. That's why he's fallen a little bit. Let me double-check that. Yes, a stress fracture in his right foot. Potential red flag there. But in round four, that's when you can take some linebacker depth. Amik Robertson, Troy Pride. I like both those guys at corner. I, don't, I wouldn't mind Prince Tega Winogo at tackle. James Lynch is intriguing to me. That's kind of a potential... Tyrone Crawford replacement down the road. Some more linemen. Natani Muti's got some injury concerns. He's probably more of a right guard, but I am kind of intrigued by that one. Probably wouldn't go John Simpson. Two centers are left. Nick Harris and Tyler Biotish as well. Josiah Scott, another nickel corner option. I am looking at edge, though, on day three as well. Curtis Weaver, I'm pretty high on him. I know the NFL is very split. Bradley and I is not a great athlete, but he's a good football player. Khalid Kareem could be a nice depth piece. Jonathan Garvin, maybe in round five, less so round four, although they are pretty thin right now at edge overall. That could be a sleeper pick for the Cowboys at, at some point on day three. Kevon Wallace kind of fits the Terrell Burtis one. I know several of you guys wanted him. They went with Neville Gallimore. I'm not going to complain. Kenny Robinson, Geno Stone. Then the drop-off kind of begins at safety. You could go for a new tight end. Things have been weird at the tight end class this year. Hunter Bryant is available. Bryson Hopkins is available at tight end as well. Harrison Bryant, too, at the tight end spot. You keep asking me about Thaddeus Moss. He could be a good tight end, too, but I I'm going to focus on defense instead early on. And then interior offensive line as we go through some more of the Cowboys' needs here. John Simpson, maybe. I'm considering those centers instead. Nick Harris and Tyler Biotish. I wouldn't hate him in round four, but I still think you just roll with Joe Looney and or Connor McGovern, which you could revisit some O-line depth at some point on day three. As a reminder, folks, we will be live for the NFL draft the entirety of day three, talking about every single pick. We've been the most watched NFL draft stream. Thank you all so much for that. Head over to YouTube.com 
slash chat sports TV. We'll be live at 11 a.m. Eastern, a little pre-show, and then every single pick broken down for the 2020 NFL Draft. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.